Welcome back. I'm gonna make you sick of me today. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, rainy, cold day off from work, so trying to do things I've been wanting to do for a while, and that's replays uh, videos of information that I think is helpful for everyone to know. And uh, yeah, it's funny, I used to teach these things living in a house, and now I'm living in the wild and finding that uh, this information is more and more useful. So this video I'm going to talk to you about how to completely eliminate mildew odors and mildew and even get into mold a little bit and how I found out how simple this was was living in my van last winter in the rainy Pacific Northwest and I had a leak in my vehicle and there are some videos about talking my van and it was funny so I had to do it but also hopefully share um, good information that's my intent um, you know times are hard it's important to know how to solve these issues without expensive chemicals and other things that people do chemicals drugs all of these things you say you're against right so in my van I had three layers of carpet and I had those big leaks and raining every day and it was horrible it smelled like mildew and I didn't even know how bad it was because I had all those layers and I was going to clean it one day and then peeled back another layer wetter peeled back another layer totally soaked all right, so now I knew where the smell was coming from. And I lived in mold before I got horribly depressed. And thinking back on last winter, I don't know if it was a contributing factor um, or not, but it's not good to live in mold or mildew. And pet odors, this can work for pet odors too. You have stinky cats or dogs or urine and it is not healthy, okay? So you can cure it super cheap, quick, pennies, literally inefficient. So in my van, I took all the carpets out. Uh, me and my other homeless buddy gal, we got a hotel for a couple nights and I, I dried the, the carpets on the heater <laughs> of the hotel room and then went to work on the inside of the van. And the number one thing I did is burn hella sage. I'm talking a lot of sage. Now sage has miraculous, amazing properties, um, antibacterial, and it doesn't just mask it like, you know, the expensive and whatever chemical sprays that you can buy in a store. No, it doesn't just mask it, it completely eliminates it, okay? Um, and yeah, it not only eliminates harmful bacteria that causes odor, it also eliminates negative energies. And the end result is the same. So get to know your, shade, your sage, <coughs> whether you smudge your house or your basement your, or whatever. You know, this will completely eliminate mildew smells. All right. Oh, it's delicious. Oh, put that in my room. Or, no. Okay, I'll do my room later. So, burn lots of sage, okay? <laughs> Baking soda in the carpet. And you can also use my laundry soap video, um, the same thing there. It, I just didn't have all those ingredients when I was living in my car. All I had was the sage, the baking soda, and lemon essential oil. Um, so I'm going over these first. Uh, so baking soda in the carpet or wherever, right? And then a lemon, lemon essential oil, which again also doesn't just mask the odor, it completely eliminates it. It will kill the bacteria that causes the mildew odor. Also, something else about lemon essential oil while we're here, if you, uh, for example, cannot afford or organic produce or for some reason it's just not available to you. Uh, lemon essential oil completely dissolves petrochemicals. So you can actually uh, soak your vegetables, your fruit, whatever, produce in water with a few drops of lemon essential oil. Yeah? 
and your vegetable, your produce will be much cleaner. So yeah, use it. Lemon essential oil. I think like lemon is actually one of the cheaper oils. It's also very stimulating and uplifting and antifungal. It's, it's amazing. So um, get to know it. All right, so those three ingredients literally saved me in my van last winter and I have not had one hint of mildew smell or anything since. In fact, when I tell people about it and they smell my van, they're just like, what the, how'd you do that? Well, same thing in my tent. And my tent smells amazing. In fact, better than most houses I've been in and especially in humid environments like here in the Pacific Northwest or say in Florida and after my experience last winter I was really really worried about living in a tent right and trying to make it through winter but I did know that moisture is the key keep it dry right um, if you've seen my pimp my tent series you saw how I built uh, the dome to keep it dry and so far it has been 100% dry so yay success um, but there's more to it so not only do I keep those essentials with me all the time I also and you know have more room and stuff I have been using this I don't even know how you pronounce it dry air or drizz air or whatever and it's just this little plastic thing with these white crystals this is like the refill I don't know, calcium chloride or something. I don't know, I ain't gonna touch it or eat it or whatever. But I have one of these here, and it's normally up here on the bookshelf. I just put it there um, for the video to make it easier for you. <laughs> and I have one in the bedroom um, up there as well. And so far, all of my clothes have stayed, you know, uh, my laundry detergent fresh. Um, the books, they don't smell like mold or there's no moisture or dampness in here at all. Like literally, none. So come and visit and find out. But um, yeah, so if I did get some moisture, um, then I would obviously use these methods I just showed you, or mildew, bacteria, the baking soda, of course, I would put in the carpet, but I would actually use the laundry detergent I just made you. Now, let's say you are dealing with mold and you want to clean it up, okay? Again, you have peroxide, which I actually prefer food grade. It's just these are my tent essentials that I have right here. Um, hydrogen peroxide and then alcohol and I actually usually use I use the lower percentage alcohol for mixing like essential oil sprays and things like that and I use the 91 percent for cooking and other things which I don't know I discussed in videos last year when I was trying to share these things but anyways so you can put the peroxide say or alcohol but let's just stick with peroxide because you want to oxygenate it right and you get that extra oxygen molecule and you can make a spray bottle uh, with the pro if you use this kind of peroxide just use it straight if you use food grade dilute it okay so about uh, uh, a capful per gallon of water um, but using this right here, then you can put that in a spray bottle with lemon and oregano. Oregano not only kills mildew and the bacteria, it kills mold. Yes, you can kill black mold and all of that with these very few simple ingredients. So you can also use baking soda or the laundry detergent in the last video uh, to scrub with. And by the way, you can use that as an abrasive scrubber for anything, replace your comet or, you know, any of those things. But yeah, so I mean, I, I proved it in a house. <laughs> I proved it in a van, and now I've proved it in a tent. So keeping your home, your living space, mildew-free is absolutely possible for pennies. And of course, all of these ingredients are multifunctional. So woohoo! All right, I hope I remembered everything this time. I left a few things out the last few videos, but whatevs. <laughs> okay, bye.